In today's video we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to put together a 2x2 Lego brick. One of the most common pieces you will find in your Lego kit at home. Okay, so you can see it looks like that. Got a little tube on the bottom there. A couple of dimples on top. Quite a simple one to make, so let's get into it. Head to the file menu and make yourself a new document. Choose a metric template and a standard millimetre part. Click on create. And to begin, we'll start a 2D sketch on the XZ plane, which is the base plane. There's this bottom one over here. Once you've selected that, simply grab your rectangle tool at the top. Clicking out of the origin, we're going to draw a 16 by 16 mil square. Press enter once you've typed in the 16 mil on each side and finish your sketch. Now we're going to extrude that square a total distance of 9 millimeters in height. And we'll click on OK. So you can see the basis of our Lego brick is drawn already. The next thing we're going to do is draw the little dimples on top. So we'll start a new 2D sketch and click on the top face of our Lego brick. From here we'll grab our circle tool. Click and drag a 4mm circle onto the top of the page. doesn't matter where you put it at the moment. Once you've got the circle drawn, grab your dimension tool at the top. Click on the centre of the circle and then the top edge of that um, square, you can drag out to the left or the right, I'll just drag out to the left and dimension that 4mm. Keeping the dimension tool selected, I'll select the center of the circle again, click on the left edge of the square and drag up towards the top and dimension that 4mm as well. So now we've got 4mm dimension on each side there. Okay, to do the other circles, we're simply going to repeat this circle a few times to get those other three in. And the quick way we can do that is use this pattern tool here. We want to use the rectangular pattern. So click on the rectangular pattern. And the first thing you need to do is select your circle. So hover over it. And when it turns white, select it. And then down here where it says direction 1, click that little arrow and click the top edge of our square. And what that does is adds another circle in the same size, but it puts it out to the left. So what we're going to have to do is just flip that around by hitting these two little arrows here. We'll leave the count for two, that leaves two circles on our page, and we'll change the distance between the two to eight millimeters. And you can see now we've got a preview of where that circle's going, you can see that looks like it's in the right position, which it is, so click on OK. Now we're going to do that again, this time repeating both of these circles down below. So we select the rectangular pattern tool again, select the first circle and then the second circle, once they're both highlighted with a kind of navy blue color or a lightish kind of blue color, choose the direction and the direction you want is this left edge. Once you've selected it, you can see that the two circles appear down below. Leave the count for two and the distance again will be eight millimeters. And you can see in the preview that those little circles are coming into the right position now. So click OK and you've got the four circles drawn on top of your um, Lego brick. So finish the sketch. We're now going to extrude those circles a distance of 1.7 millimeters. So type 1.7 into the box and then go and click on each of those circles and click OK. All right, so now you've got those extruded and our Lego brick is really coming together. Next thing we need to do is just flip around to the bottom of the Lego brick and just hollow out this bottom section. So we're going to use the shell tool to do that. So in your ribbon, select that shell tool, make the thickness 0.8 millimeters, and click on the bottom face of the Lego brick. Click OK when you're done, and you can see now we've just hollowed out the Lego brick. All right, so that will be able to snap on other Lego bricks pretty nicely now. The last thing we need to do is just draw a little uh, hollow tube in the middle here. So simply flip around to the bottom face, and we're going to start a new 2D sketch on that bottom face, so select it there. I'll just zoom in a bit here to do this. Now, to help um, guide us with our sketching here, we're going to actually project some geometry. So click Project Geometry in your ribbon and select this bottom rectangle. Okay, and if you press Escape now, you can see some yellow lines have come through, which has projected those squares and circles we drew previously onto this bottom face. Now, when we grab our Circle tool and you hover around the center of the shape, you'll see some dotted black lines appear. They're the guides that are going to help us out to find the center of this square. So you can see now I've got these dashed black lines showing me that I'm 
in the center now. So I'll click and drag it a circle that is 4.2 mil in diameter. And then clicking back on the origin again, I'm going to drag out another one that's 5 mil in diameter. Okay, so we've got two circles there. One 5 mil diameter, the other 4.2 mil in diameter. Once you've got those two circles drawn, finish the sketch. And you can zoom back in a little bit there. We're going to extrude uh, the basically the space in between the two circles. So this space just here. Okay, so click on that. And you want to extrude it 6.8 millimeters. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. It's just a hollow tube. Click OK. If you zoom out, that should be looking pretty good. If we just get this side on for a moment, you can see it doesn't extrude past the edge of the shape. So that's looking pretty good to me. All right, so that's our Lego brick made. Last thing I want to do is just add a splash of color to it. So up the top in your appearance browser, it's that little color wheel. Click on it. I'm searching for the color red. Okay, there's a few different reds I can use there, so it's just a matter of picking a good one. So I'll click and drag over the top of my Lego brick to select it, and I'll just choose one of these reds. It's just a matter of choosing a nice bright one, I think. Um, smooth red, maybe. No, it's not very bright. I guess it doesn't really matter. You just choose whichever one you want. This is a pretty bright one. Let's just go with LED red. Hit the little up arrow on the color you want. Close the appearance browser and click off it. And you can see now we've got a nice red 2x2 Lego brick all drawn up. You can save that up. I'll see you in the next video.